Hey everyone. And we're right back where we left off last time. We just came down from the roof where the traps are and I'm going to look in these storage rooms over here in the lobby real quick. I know there's at least one generator. I'm already seeing a second. But I'm doing a quick glance to make sure there's no one hiding here that's going to jump me. Close that door. And here's a third one. What else is in here? Ooh, Fluffy Foot the Bunny. Let's take that right away. I'll have to come back for generators. I'll also take that. Concrete powder, I don't particularly need that, and I already have a desktop computer at home. I can possibly dismantle that for some XP someday. Uh, books that I don't need, and another generator. So that's, what, four now? Some clothes. Another sledgehammer. And a machete. I'll be taking that. Not very great condition, though, on that machete. That, that gives us, what, five sledgehammers now? Fishing rod, though I'm nowhere near fishing, so never mind, I'm not going to take that. Another generator. I think we will have enough generators to last a lifetime. A needle. Ooh, an antique oven. That's actually really good. I'm going to come back for that right away. Don't particularly need it because we have the barbecue. Ooh, canteens. I'll take one of these. And I'm going to take the tent stuff as well because I can believe if I take those home I could just make a tent for the roof. More decor for our rooftop garden. And dishes. Don't need those. Another generator. Toy bear, yo-yo. What else do we got? And that's it. That's where the fishing rod is at. Alright, so I'm going to head home for now. Um, I wonder if I can take this with me? The antique oven. I might be able to if I rearrange these things. No, it's too heavy. We'll have to come back for it later. Let's head home for now. Okay, home crap home. Let's make sure I lock the door. And I'm gonna head on upstairs and put away all my loot. My guy Bo here stuffing whole cabbages into his face. It's about 10 o'clock and it was a pretty eventful day. I spent the day street sweeping and killing the stragglers that have wandered into the area. There was a bit of a spooky moment right about here. Alright, you got anything for me? Just a bread knife. Oh my god! Oh, that scared the crap out of me. I heard him right as I saw him come around that corner. Oof. Other than that, it was a pretty uneventful day. That was a bit of a spook, but nothing happened, so no need to worry about it, right? Time for Bo's nightly routine of anti-anxiety smoking. I think he also needs an anti-anxiety cabbage now. Where did I put those? No. Oh, I stuffed four of them in his fanny pack. There we go. Perfect. Eat this and then we'll head to bed. And with the power of editing, I will see you guys in the morning. Alright, it is 6.10 a.m. I think it's like day 38 or so. I don't know, I can't even count anymore. I'm pretty sure. We'll find out when I edit. Uh, gonna have our morning anti-anxiety smoke. And let's head outside to see how our crops are doing. As you can see, things are looking pretty nice here. I've got some decorations. I set up that tent I said I would make. David the gnome and stilts are over there hanging out by my barbecue. I don't think I've even gathered all of the plants from inside this building yet, so we still have a lot of decorating to do. But for now, let's check on our vegetables. Looks like the potatoes are doing really good. Let's go over and check out the ones down here. This is going to be my tomatoes. Also doing good. And over here we've got... What did I plant again? I don't remember. Oh, my carrots, yes. And I already harvested some cabbages, so I'm going to need to replant those when it rains. And I didn't finish digging these furrows, and I need to finish getting more of the plots laid out as well. So that's going to be the plan for today. We're going to 
stick close to home so in case it rains I can plant things immediately. Um, we're gonna focus on looting the apartment building across the way. And finally any decorations for the garden I find along the way that I feel would fit with our theme. So I'm gonna go check the traps on the top of the roof. Hopefully we have some nice birds to eat tonight. And then we're gonna go bring the antique stove home. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Now would you look at that. All my traps sprung. That's gonna be five fresh birds to eat. Which Bo really needs. Well, not so much anymore. He's gaining weight, but still. I'm greedy. And we're gonna take all of these and eat them. And I just realized I didn't bring any worms with me to rebate them, so I'll have to come back later and do that. But for now, I'm gonna go downstairs and grab the antique stove and we'll take that home. Alright, just making room in my main inventory and let's bring this if I can carry that up, break my back. Okay. Hopefully nobody has wandered in between here and the next building because I did not check before I did this. I mean, I cleared it out yesterday just for this task. But I didn't actually check today. It looks fine. Yeah, we're good. Alright, see you guys back at the top. This seems good enough. I don't want this to be the permanent spot for it. I do plan to bring it inside later, I just don't have a place for it inside right now. I haven't made one because I was not expecting to find an antique stove. Now let's go cook up them birds we got. So I made three meals and I just roasted two of the birds plain and Bo will have quite a few meals for the next few days. And now that I know the traps are working, I'm gonna spend the rest of the day reading trapping so we can get all that experience. Alright, so it's about 9.50 in the morning. Bo is a slow reader, so this is going to take ages. This is pretty much gonna be the rest of our day. And I have the skills up here if you guys want to do a skill check. I know some of you really like to see the progress. Okay, about a little less than 12 hours later, he finally, finally finished trapping. Put that back. I don't particularly like wasting whole days reading, but the sooner we read that, the better. We'll get more XP in the long run when we start looting the bird traps every day. So time for a bedtime meal. Gonna have part of one of the bird meals I've made. And then time to do some decorating. I've been putting these pots and pans out here. I don't really need to be collecting this rainwater because I have so many rain barrels. I just like the aesthetic that it gives off because Bo would, would definitely be collecting a lot of rainwater up here. Alright, time to work on Carpentry 5 some more. Slow going. 11 p.m. Time for bed. Level 5 books take forever to read, but hopefully one day we'll actually finish Carpentry 5. And with that, good night. Good morning everyone to day 39. We're gonna have some birdie breakfast and head out. Today's a big day. I plan to do a lot more of the digging of dirt and building plots on my rooftops. And then I also plan to start looting the apartment building. I want to find a bigger backpack. We currently have the small hiking bag or just hiking bag is the item name, I suppose. And I'm on the lookout for the big hiking bag. And one of the best spots to find them is going to be in the wardrobes in those apartments. That building has four floors with eight apartments each. Every apartment has at least one of those wardrobes, if not more, so that's at least 32 chances of finding a new bag today, so I'm gonna hop right on that. First I'm gonna fill up my brand new canteen and grab my worms. I'm not gonna forget them today. Grab the dirt bags and my shovel and we'll head off. We can take a little tour of my garden on the way again. I think it's coming along quite nicely. It's been very nice to see actual progress happening. Mm, that's a problem. Just noticed that the dirt is off here by one square. Let me fix that real fast. It'll be less dirt to haul in the long run. Grab this one over here. Must have misjudged the pattern I was using. 
That's alright, we can just go plop it down down here. Got some ominous fog happening, and I did it again here. That's weird. That's okay. Easy to fix. When I put this down, I was honestly wondering why this wrote in it so weirdly, and now it makes sense. Let me go finish that off. And now I descend into the fog. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Ah, the zombie apocalypse where you stuff three bags of dirt into your hiking bag and climb to the top of an apartment building to check your bird traps like business as usual. We do have some loiterers in the lobby if we're gonna have to take care of them. Got a key. That'll help me at least a little bit. Okay, time to proceed upstairs. Right, just about there. Need to check and see how his temperature's doing. Changed it back into his uh, shorts and tank top clothes yesterday because he was getting really warm. Still warm, but not sweating excessively like he was, which makes you tired, so. I'm gonna beat these traps and then we'll head back downstairs and start searching for the big hiking bag. So I'm not gonna make you guys watch me loot 32 apartments because that would be uh, agonizingly boring, so I'll just update you when I find cool things. Cigarettes, a big hiking bag, 426 shotgun shells, some beef jerky for the road. I can't believe I found the big hiking bag like on the first floor that I searched. So I'm going to keep searching the rest of the floors really quickly to see if there's any really good loot in here. I'm going to take this home real fast because I am loaded down with several boxes of shotgun shells, and we will resume searching. I'm back at the building, and I will keep you guys updated on cool loot that I find. Hopefully I find some more cool stuff, because that's been a pretty dang good haul so far. 426 shotgun shells? You really can't beat that kind of loot. We got painkiller? Actually, hold on. I got my new bag and the icons are in the incorrect order on my thing. The trick to that is taking off all your bags, including the fanny packs and the keyring. I saw that zombie creeping in after me. Hopefully I can get these all back on before they make it up here. Almost done. Just gotta put them... Back in in the order you want them, including keyring last, and there you go. Resuming looting, and I found the household essential firebomb. Another box of shotgun shells. More painkillers. Lumberjack shirt for winter. A bag of dried beans. A great food source, and some crackers. Lots and lots of garbage bags. Another roasting pan because we have lots of birds to cook now. Yet another box of shotgun shells. Rotten cheese for the mousetrap. Chips. Cereal. Popcorn. And rice. All great food sources. Another cooking pot for the aesthetic. And another one. More garbage bags. I've been hearing some zombies below me and, uh... Maybe if I just don't look. And some glue. Okay, the zombie sounds are getting worse. I should probably get out of here. I don't want them to sneak up on me in here. That would be really bad. I'm just gonna search this last apartment. Wait, yeah, I was already at this one. Yeah, okay, I can head back. Oh my god, I might bit. I might bit. God. Oh crap, that was so bad. The jump scare made me click out a zomboid. Okay, I... I need a minute real fast. I'm gonna pause real quick.
Okay, I'm back. I need to change my settings. I record Zomboid in 1920 by 1080 window mode because I have an ultrawide monitor. And when I got jump scared, I clicked outside of the window and that was what almost got me killed. So I'm going to change that. And then I'm going to get rid of this lady. Hi. So I noticed while I was editing that the zombie who nearly got me here was this zombie that saw me through the window upstairs when I was changing my bag order. Anyway, back to it. Just thought you guys might want to know that. I am not happy that my series was nearly ended by this single zombie. Please take care of. I need like three anti-anxiety pills. Okay, I don't like that the cursor is showing up for the recording now. But there's not much I can do about that at the moment. I'm going to take a little break and head inside and recover from my emotions. Alright everyone, it's day 40. Hopefully another day of not dying. On the menu for this beautiful morning is cabbage and bird roast. Take a little bit of that for lunch too. And on today's agenda is going to be some regularly scheduled street sweeping. I gotta keep up with the small packs that are slowly making their way in here due to helicopter events and other sound events. So for that purposes, I will be taking the truck today, parking it over by the apartment building, and honking it just once to bring in any stragglers. Make sure I lock the door before I leave. And then we will check the bird traps and see what the honk brings in. You know, I can't say that I remember if we named the truck for this series. We did name the car for my CDDA series, which was red. Hmm, I wonder what we should name the truck. She's been real good to us so far, even though I've crashed her a few times, but not badly. Never badly. And I still never, never moved these car wrecks, but that's okay. As long as we're careful, creep around here. I'm not seeing any activity, really. Which is a good sign, because I keep this area pretty clear. Unless I activate new buildings, then I'm pretty much screwed. Alright, honk. And then I make my way inside, quickly. Unless I'm intercepted by an interloper. Let's get rid of you quickly so I can run inside. Alright, no one is following me. Let's head up to that rooftop. I'm very nervous to be in here after my experience yesterday, so I'm going to take it nice and slow. Not seeing. You can take wide turns on these corners and run. Just keep running. They can't get you if you're running. Sometimes. I'm gonna run around these corners. I'm gonna be forever terrified of this building now. Just keep running. Almost there. Not hearing anything. That's good. Alright, one more floor should do it. Yeah, I was worried somebody was gonna be hiding up there. And there they are! They're all sprung but one of them. Go ahead and check the traps. That'll be four birds for us. I need to remember to bait them this time, now that I actually brought bait. Keep an eye on that XP it gives us as well. I uh, need to be in my main bag, that would help. We'll start down here. Worm. Now these traps will have worm burden. Oh, I 
Grabbing a tiny bit of loot from these apartments before I head back down. Oh, I hear that. Every zombie sound in this building is terrifying now. There she is. Okay, I don't want to leave her. For her to sneak up on me later. I'm not entirely sure how she made her way up here. Or what attracted her. Which is a little bit scary, but... I don't get paid to ask questions. Alright, I'm gonna get out of here. Very nervous. On the steps. Uh... Not that way, what am I doing? Panicking a little bit. Just want to get out of this building. Right down to the last floor. Ah, okay, we're good. I need to see what's in the area from the honk. We already have some takers in the lobby. I'm nervous about fighting in the lobby. Just watch my back and I should be fine. I just hate it when things spook me in this game. And put me on edge. Because you either get careless and complacent or you get overzealous and make mistakes. Alright, what's out here? I see quite a few actually, but nothing unmanageable. Alright, so let's do this. Alright, so that wasn't so bad. I faced my fears and I regained my zomboid confidence. Time to take this loot home. Still not sure of a name for you, little truck. If you guys have any suggestions, uh, leave them in the comments. I'm curious to what you would want to name her. Got some Zambinis trying to sneak up on us when we get home and unpack our loot. We'll teach them a lesson. I mean, back up the stairs. Poor Bo never gets to skip leg day. Ever. Now I sort my loot haul before I head out on another loot run, because it's only 11 o'clock and we got more daylight to kill. And lastly for today, I wanted to show you guys the compost bin. I've gathered quite a bit of rot vegetables and meat and rats, and we'll soon have a lot of compost for the garden. So that's going to be it today for everyone. Make sure I put this cockroach with the worms, and I'll see you all next time. This is Genuine Toad, and I'm happy to have you here.